Hello guys and welcome back to the Link Up Podcast. It's just me and Luke and today we'll be talking about our championship team of the season since it comes to the end. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave your own team of the season down in the comments below. Mm. So I'll keep up. This one was close, I think. Yeah. This was really close. I there's not been loads and loads top performing no, goalkeepers in the championship For season. me there's been three or four. Yeah, for like, me. I agree. Yeah. I, and it was between Hermanson, Leicester, Melio, Leeds, Alex Palmer, yeah. and for me, Swansea's Carl Rushworth. Huh, for me. Really? I, I think he's had a brilliant really The good first Swansea. three I, I was definitely thinking about. I'm trying to think in the, the, he, the rest of the top six, there's not, not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just said Carl Rushworth, it was Swansea's player of the season. Okay, yeah. No. So I think for me, he, and especially from the games I saw, he didn't do half badly last game of the season against us. Yeah, I just think he, 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 he was in the conversation for me, but he missed out and the other three, so we've gone for Mads Hermanson. Yeah, obviously he's won the league with Leicester, which is, you know... Um, did he even get Golden Glove? He didn't, He no, didn't, Melio no, got it. Melio did but get it. for us, we think Mads Hermanson is the mm. better goalkeeper. Yeah, I think he's won the league with a very good Leicester defence. Yeah, think stats. Mads yeah. Hermanson has seven goals prevented per nine. Per, per nine, seven. That is mental. It's ridiculous. Like, the amount... That boils down to sometimes win the league or getting promoted or not. Of course, like, that, 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 for them, that was down to winning, yeah. them win the league. I know they had that little run where fans wanted to rescue out and it could have been possibly down to the players, but they have picked themselves up and bloody hell, they got one of the most clean sheets in the league mm -hmm. and stuff like that. I'm interested to see sort of how Leicester and um, Madison get on. Would they replace him? We don't know. No, nah, maybe, but yeah, that's, that's for another So, video. yeah. But, yeah. So, so, who do we have right back, Luke? Right back. We have... Carl Walker Peters. Yeah. Uh, so for, for Southampton. Again, that it, it's for that position. I think for me it's pretty clear cut. Yeah. I know there's probably there is probably. I mean, I could have gone with Pereira. You could have gone with, with Clark good. from Ipswich. I just think that's a two goals and three assists at right back um, for a very good ball player in Southampton side. Sort of, but he's been. Um, Involved. Yeah, he in that. played that inverted wing back role. Really, he's 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 come inside. And he's, yeah, certainly, he's, I've seen him. He's too good for the championship. He is. He, I thought he would leave. He's had a really, really positive season uh, yeah. with Southampton under Russell Martin. So yeah, yeah uh, right back we've got Carl Walker Peters. Okay, let's go with our first centre half. Mm -hmm. Ethan Ampadu. Now, yeah, yeah they've yeah. gone with a few again. Oh, there's there's, loads. Of there's there. so many good centre halves this year. Yeah. I mean, should we say both of our centre halves? Yeah, go on. We have Ethan Ampadu and Jacob Greaves. But for, we we could have gone for a lot of other lead or a few of the other leads mm. uh, centre backs. I think Roden. Roden was another one. Um, if you look at some of the Leicester centre backs, you know, Woot Faze, Vestergaard, um, Connor Cody, who sort of started getting the team more uh, near the end of the season. For me, that Wesley Hout from Watford, he, he got the yeah, highest, really, highest really rate, game rate in this year. Like he was really he was close. He was really close to getting well. in, but I think for, for us, I think Ampadu and Greaves have been the two centre arse, you know, the best two centre arse. I think the note I sort of have on here is, you know, best defence in the league, yeah. the least goal to concede it, obviously, and um, you know, yeah, the leader good. for... Um, I think yeah, on the ball he's so comfortable as well. I don't think yeah. I really see that man misplace a pass too often. Yeah, and it, most of his passes are forward. He he he's, he's not one of them because he he did used to play CDM from his previous loans, especially mm -hmm. in Germany and when he was a youngster at Chelsea. But what he's as a tragic centre half, he can bring the ball out. He can make them passes to Somerville, to to Notto, and to them players on the wing, and even mm -hmm. to Rutter in, in yeah. the attack midfield. His ability to play sort of um, in midfield as well has he really, can do really that. helped them as well. But yeah, he's been so solid for the centre back. Yeah, it's all about probably Jacob Greaves is probably to people that don't watch the championship a surprise. It could be because yeah, they probably would have expected you know, one of the one of the top, top teams. teams. But you know, how how were they were about? So seventh in the end. Under Rosinha, I know Rosinha's gone, which I still don't agree yeah, with. Yeah, he just got sacked a few days ago. There's a time of recording this. He Jacob Greaves have thrived in that system that Rosinha made, and with top he's top five in duels one in sixty eight percent. Got two goals, four assists, and in aerial duels, seventy three percent. He's won. Yeah, he's been solid for a guy that solid. isn't the tallest of players. 
73 percent is not half bad, especially with how big and like you got your likes of Kevin Moore, Patrick Bamford, Rutter in the division. There's a lot of big strikers and that having to deal with them. 100 percent. And we got to left back. Yeah, I, think I think there's only one player. Three, this is clear. The um, guy that only cost Ipswich 1.8 million, which we found out yesterday because we thought he was on loan. Yeah, <laughs> but he only just joined Ipswich from Leeds. Um, what a mistake by Leeds. I'm sorry. Leeds Davis. I think if you have 19 assists. Eight, so, it's 19 assists now, isn't it? Two, two goals, 19 assists. Good, yeah. From the last day, gets to the Premier League. He will it, be... It's really intriguing to see how, how we sort of perform. I think he'll do like a... Comparison, he'll do like an Alfie Doherty type. How well he'll play. I know, right? I really like Alfie Doherty as a player, but I think he will do that kind of role. But yeah, as, as a left-back, getting 19 assists. He's is unreal. He's top, isn't he top assist in the league? Yeah, he will be. Uh, but yeah, Leeds Davis, absolute no-brainer for us. Has to be in Has to be him. He's the, he was the first person we went, yeah, he's got to be in there. Absolutely. Right, so we're on to our midfielders now. So um, one of them, um, no, won the league. Uh, Kieran, Kieran Dewsbury Hall. Um, 12 goals, 14 assists from midfield. 84% um, He's been their main man this season, really. I'm surprised he stayed, because I think even last year in the Premier League, he's one of their standouts. But he, he's come in and he, he saw the, mm. and the, the, the way he controls the ball, his dribbling, his output is just ridiculous. He deserved a space in yeah. this team this season, to be honest. Not There's not really much to say about him. He's just, no, he's just he quality. Is, quality. He's, quality. For me, he's the best player in the division. And in terms yeah, of him, him alongside Ndidi and Harry Winks, yeah, so really, them, two fair, them two narrowly missed out. I would have been, I was, I was making the case for Harry Winks, how well he does. The way he controls Lester. the game, Harry Winks, he, he gets an honourable mention. But um, we've gone with someone else, Gabriel Sarah. Brilliant, brilliant play. Whenever I saw him, especially last season, this season he's just been ridiculous, basically. He was like, like this last he, season. He, but they didn't perform as well, and the re and he's been the main reason why they've got into the top six. Thirteen goals, twelve assists, ridiculous <laughs> yeah, from centre midfield as well. I think he's been maybe a little bit more advanced. But we're putting him as a centre midfielder because that's where we've mostly seen him play. Really. But I think he, he's mainly been playing sort of a bit more advanced than that, like in the number ten role. Um, we put him as a cater for our attack midfielder, really. Yeah, but um, this is a really free flying attacking team we've got. But um, yeah, Gabriel Sarra win the league with this. <laughs> yeah, it would. But yeah, he absolutely has to be in there. Our number ten, um, the top goal scorer in the league. Yeah, there, uh, there can be no one else. The twenty-seven goals for Blackburn, who was near who near it, compared to what. You had last season where you were so you narrowly missed out on playoffs in the last mm. day. And I think them maybe losing Brereton Diaz was sort a of big one. Was helped, a big one. Helped Sammy Schwadix in the end really flourish. And about twenty-seven goals for Four Blackburn Rovers is ridiculous. Like Surviving the final day. People are going to be sniffing around. Yeah, they beat Leicester two 0 Since Schwadix got two goals in the last game, ridiculous. Which, and we could not put Sammy Schwadix at number ten. Ridiculous player. And um, there's going to be a lot of teams sniffing around for him. I'm oh yeah, I don't know if so. Absolutely. You, you yeah. put the lights on Leeds, Southampton, all the I think Leeds, he's been linked right. with Leeds, but I don't think... I don't, maybe, Would he go maybe, Leeds? Maybe, maybe not. Right, we're on to our front three now. So should we go with our striker? Yeah, so striker. Let's... Now this player actually didn't get into the championship team. Which was season. really surprising Fishman. when I saw this on Twitter. He didn't get in. Well, it's such a good one, yeah. Adam Armstrong. Adam Armstrong. How a striker just... he's got 21 goals, 13 assists. For a Southampton side, which you'd expect to be, to be you know, challenging for the title. I think he'll, he's in the top two or three um, scorers in the in the championship. He is, and, and um, yeah, he, he done he done that last time when he was at Blackburn. Yeah, he's really good in the championship, and he's championship uh, manager. <laughs> he's a player you need to sort of push on and try and get promoted because he gets you goals at the end of the day, and that's going to be. The difference I have no doubt he'd do that in the playoffs as well. I have um, no doubt. Yeah, it'd, be, it, and and up look, top. it'd be interesting to see sort of how um, he gets on in the playoffs, and mm. if if Southampton do go up, sort of, if he does get the game time, how he does do, do in the pro again mm. after a season like he's had. No, yeah, hundred percent. So, right. um, uh, should we get onto our left winger? I agree. I, uh, yeah, uh, Crescencio Somerville. If that's how you yeah. say that one. Yeah, Samuel of Leeds had to be in there. Just, been the best winner this year by, yeah. a, by a long while. Just, while. just on his output, 19 goals and 9 assists. Whenever I see season. him play, he's so direct, and I don't think any fullback in the league could contain him. Really? Yeah, he's think. doing well in the Premier League. Well. Like, I remember it during his goal at Liverpool. I was going to mention that, yeah. Um, to win it's it. he broke out, really. But he's been 
unreal this season. Um, and if they don't go up this season, no doubt he surely can. he gets a move. Get Premier League to Europe or the Prem. You would have thought. Finally, we're on um, to right, right wing. I think this one was really hard. Because you had yeah. Wilfred Notto that played the position, you had Fulham played that position. But in the end, you've gone for a Plymouth player. Yeah, we have, and that's probably given it away. Uh, Morgan Whitaker. Yes. Um, I just think also what's maybe swung it for me is that Plymouth's been struggling this season. Similar, very similar to sort of the Sammy Schmodick situation. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he's, he actually got a little bit of hate in it towards the end because his output sort of since the turn of the year. Has, but I just think, he, again, his output, if you look at that solely, he deserves to be in this team. 19 goals, 9 assists. Um, no, sorry, 19 goals, 8 assists, sorry. Yeah, so eight for assists. Plymouth as well, who, you know, on the last game only just mm. stayed up. It's oh. such a good pick-up for Plymouth. It's been brilliant. Him and him and his link-up with uh, Mustafa Bundu up top was like this season, mm. especially the start of the season. They were brilliant, but it kind of did tail off because I know they had problems with their manager and stuff like that. I can't get too much into it but no question Morgan Whitaker uh, 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 as I mentioned sort of the fact that he does play for Plymouth mm. um, and I just think it's going to be interesting to see who's going to be sniffing around him um, 100% at the, at the turn of the season um, maybe a few Prem sides maybe a top championship side do the people that go down want to sniff around for him potentially but um, yeah as I said we have to have Morgan Whitaker in there so in goal we have Mads 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 Hermanson right back Cole Walker-Peters Centre backs are Ethan Ampadu and Jacob Greaves. Left back Leith Davis. Centre midfielder Dewsbury Hall and Gabriel Sarah. Uh, number 10 Sammy Schmodix. Right wing Morgan Whitaker. Left wing Somerville and striker Adam Armstrong. Should we say some. Uh, I missed out. Yeah, go on. Amari Hutchinson for me, for how well he done at Ipswich. Yeah. Especially back end of the season. Um, you, you also have the likes of every Leicester centre half. The whole mm -hmm. list of defence, really. We haven't got Fatou or Mavadidi in there. Which is surprising for how well they've done this year. Um, so they're, they're, they're going on, we'll mention as well. No Harry Finley. Winks. No Harry Winks, no, no Didi. No Rutter, really. No, yeah. I know we don't rate him, but no Rutter. I mean, uh, Pereira as well. James, uh, yeah, Justin. James Justin, um, one, yeah. James Justin. Um, Clark, Dan yeah, Clark from Ipswich. Daniel James. Hildeki, the goalkeeper from Ipswich, yeah. is another one. There's so many um, that we could have gone for. Please let us know in the comments your um, championship team this season. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.